Hello, Carrie here. Here I am with part two of my uh, giveaway journal I'm making. I'm just starting a masterboard here. There is a theme. It's a very pink theme with flowers and things like that. So I laid it all out to get an idea of how it goes. And then I'm going to take all the bits of paper off and glue them down. And I've sped this up. You don't want to suffer through all of this. So that's even some fabric there. I just thought the colours go really well. And what I'm going to do with this masterboard is I'm going to scan it and I'm going to protect some prints from it. I will actually be later on using the actual masterboard as well. So nothing goes to waste here. And so there's all sorts of bits and pieces I've got here. I've got some of my jelly prints. I've got photocopies that I've done. I've got some of Lisa's lovely waxed, dyed waxed paper going on there. That's just a photocopy of something of mine I've done before. I think another masterboard, another piece of Lisa's delightful waxed paper going down there. And that is a bit of a photocopy of a masterboard I've done before. For some reason I did it on black and white. I can't remember why now. That's from a gardening magazine. It's a very pretty pink flower. These are some lovely papers that somebody sent me, a friend sent me. And they are gorgeous. I love those. And I love that little touch of yellow. It brings everything to life. So here it is all glued down. And here are the photocopies I've got. So I've got full size ones and that's the left hand side and the right hand side and then uh, I did a full sheet uh, reducing everything down so I am now going to chop them all up into different sizes so here they are and I've added some of my birds and various other decorative elements and I'm going to take it away to the sewing machine and I'm going to do some sewing on some of them so here's the pile now uh, I've trimmed off the loose ends and everything and I'm popping something into that little pocket there, the tea bag pocket. And I'm going to have fun with the eyelets, of course. I can't res resist the opportunity to use the eyelets. Of course. Eyelets and ribbons and strings and things. Struggling with that one there, with butterfingers today. This tag I'm going to cut a slit in and thread some ribbon through it. Apparently you can get a punch that does that. It would be a lot easier because it's kind of difficult to cut a neat slit, but I do manage it. I think this knife is getting a little bit blunt. Never mind, It'll do for now. And now I'm going to be making a little fold out booklet, which inside is just going to be blank for writing in. I start off trying to measure, but that doesn't work. I just have to eyeball it in the end. So I'm just um, scoring it there. I'm just going to snip off these to make a shape, like an envelope shape. And then I thought I divided it into thirds equally, but then I realised that doesn't fold so well. You need space to allow for the creasing. So there's a little bit of fiddling going on there when I realised that. So I'll try again. <laughs> And again, it isn't quite right, so it's having a lot of creases in it. <laughs> this is actually using the original masterboard now, so it's, it's quite thick. I probably would have been better off using the photocopies, which is on thinner card. But never mind. So that is it. So it calls for an eyelet, of course. off any loose ends 
and I'm going to thread some string. I tried this thicker pink string and um, changed my mind about it. I think it's a little bit too thick for such a small item. It's a beautiful string though. It's a lovely pink colour. But I've got some other thread I'm going to use, which is the uh, embroidery thread. And it's the same colour I've used to bind the journal anyway. So it all ties in well together. So I'm just popping that through and tying it. Doing a little bow and trimming off of the loose ends. And now I need to find a place to put it in the journal. Just trying to decide where it can go. I've got it so full now. <laughs> and at the very end I'm going to do a flip through of where I'm at. But I have some more things to do yet. Keep watching because I'm going to start all the um, jewellery bits now which I love doing. I'm going to pop that there with a, a pink, obviously, paper clip. I hope whoever wins this likes the colour pink. Because that is the predominant theme for this, isn't it? <laughs> so now I'm good. I'm just, I've punched a hole in the top of the fold over bit of the journal. Uh, I'm going to put an eyelet in and this is where I'm going to dangle some um, jewellery decorations. And it's a good idea to reinforce this hole because it is canvas. There. And here we are with it decorated with the dangly bits, which I like to add. So I've added these. I've added some beads to the threads on the inside. I've got these threads on the top now. And if I open it up inside, I've made these paper, uh, the safety pin danglies. And here we're going to go through the art journal now. I've put a postcard a tag and a little card in there that's a lovely jelly paint jelly print in here i've got another postcard bit of vellum some of this lovely pretty paper and that has the flip down on this page i've made an envelope and decorated it with napkin that's really pretty i love that and I've clipped that to the side with a paper clip. In this pocket, we've got three elements. We've got that pretty little card with number three on it. I just love that. Um, interesting bit of ledger paper. And a tag with one of my birds on. Uh, some more vellum. It's pretty paper. Another one of the safety pin decorations. A tag with another bird on. And here is the tag in the secret pocket that was plain earlier and I've decorated the top. Here's some interesting writing area or painting or drawing. A large card for journaling on. Put that back in there. And there's another card for journaling on. That's from the actual original master board. Uh, clear uh, paper for writing on, paper for writing on. Another secret pocket. And there's the ATC in there. And here we have um, a tag, a large tag, some paper, pretty paper, more pretty paper, some vellum, another pocket with some tags in. Uh, this one has is an is a, a book type one, book tag. I don't know if that's what you call it, and a small tag, which could be a bookmark. And that opens out some more vellum. In this pocket, we've got a couple of things. We've got a journaling card. And also, I made a little booklet, which you can also write in. I'm going to put it that way. There. I like that. And in here, we, we have the trifold booklet that I made. I'm going to open it out so you can see. So there's writing space inside that. I quite like that, it's really pretty. And I'm just uh, paper clipping that to the side of the book. There we go. And in here we have the tea bag pouch that I made and inside I've popped a little Leonardo da Vinci print on and another large tag to be read that you can write on the back and that's it. There will be further decorations that go in it before the giveaway, but there'll be secret ones uh, for the recipient to discover. 
and then it just wraps around like that and that closes the book so this is for the giveaway I'm going to be doing when I have 1,000 subscribers, which is happening soon, I think, I hope. So I hope you enjoyed watching that. I loved making this journal. It was such good fun. Thank you for watching. Bye.